Okay, well, okay, so you did just get back from, and I was asking you, Italia. if you flew, flew did, fancy? Yeah. Flew Biz, Biz on, International. On what airline? Uh, on the way there, I went Swiss, and on the way back, I went Lufthansa. Ooh, Lufthansa is so nice. Interesting you say that, because the food was horrific. Really? Ooh. Yeah. And I also felt like I was in a like like horror movie situation, because um, everyone there, or like all the staff, I would speak to them. And they would just smile behind their mask, but they wouldn't acknowledge what you said. Danke. Because it was English? Ugh. Yeah, they can't speak English. No, no, no. <laughs> I would just say whatever. Like, they're like, do you want water or can I get you anything? I'd be like, I'll take a still water. And they would just, and then walk away. Mm. <laughs> and then bring it to you or no? Yeah, they bring it to me. <laughs> oh, okay. It was, it was just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it was like a German thing. And then the, when, in the morning when I had woken up, uh, the flight attendant goes, would you like breakfast? I go, yes. She's like, I will need your tray table. I'm like, okay. And then she just walked away. And and she came back later with <laughs> my food and just like dumped like two forks and two knives and two meals on there because Alina was still sleeping. She was like, you can split that up and then just walked away. Damn, that's terrible. It was weird. It was weird service. Yeah. Weirdly polite at parts and other parts. Uh, yeah, didn't give a fuck. Anyway, sorry. So what I was going to tell you, since I asked you on your last tour mm. if you were using like a miles card to book these tickets oh, and no. you said no nah. and i i you're I got a big mad. you're a big miles guy, oh huge right? i'm about to fly <laughs> can you just let me get it out i know it's just you like perked up yeah. oh, oh because i'm so thrilled i know i'm going to sydney australia tonight to buy another volvo oh i wish oh hey, dude, don't even get me started hold no up, hold up i'm going to sydney tonight just to, I have a, a roommate who, my old roommate in New York is Australian, he moved back to Sydney. So I'm staying with him for a week. And then next week, Emil is flying to Tokyo, where I'm meeting Emil and my little brother and our friend Phil in Tokyo. And uh, we're going to have a trip. But I'm flying from Sydney to Tokyo and then Tokyo back to LA, all in first class on Singapore Airlines, which is like one of the nicest. Wow. Because of miles? Yeah, because of Amex points. Really? It took me like 270,000 points, and it's like a, I don't know, $8,000 ticket overall. So. so how long did it take you to rack up those points? Not long at all. I really? just got a couple. I think I got the Was Amex. Like sign-up bonuses? Or yeah, what? I got the Amex Platinum Business Card sign-up bonus that had like 120,000 miles, and then I got the Gold Business Card. This is had... so cool. I feel like I'm at the end of a flight. <laughs> oh, were they were they pit you on it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. yeah. Uh, Boom. But you got to do that, dude. For your, okay. we gotta we gotta talk offline then about this. Because oh yeah, I, I have to book a flight to Australia mm -hmm. in May, and I wanted to do the lay flats. Yeah, and it was eighteen thousand dollars. <laughs> So you just for, ran the card for right? Kelsey and I. You just yeah. ran the. Card. I was fucking close. Yeah. I was like, I can't. Like, I'm about to go do an Ironman. I don't want to like sit upright no. for 13 hours or yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. Uh. Well. So I booked. I used miles to fly to Sydney, but unfortunately in coach, and it's with Delta miles. But that was like fifty thousand. I think you can probably. Do you have a bunch of Delta? Yeah, points? I do. I have. No, no. I have a ton of like points on my card that I haven't used. Like I, Amex. I just yeah. I just forget. I don't. Like I. I forget that they're there. Unfortunately. With Amex points, it can be kind of hard to book anything upper class specifically to Australia. You might have to tran you will have to transfer to some other airline, but I don't know. But you got it for your tour specifically. You should get like a Delta card so that you can earn status. The airplane days Something. will be over after this year. What are you taking a train? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Amtrak what? all the yeah. way. He's doing like a circus tour. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking yeah. cool. Like on a train. You got your own car and everything? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we bought a bunch of box cars. <laughs> yeah. I hired it's, like, you know. Turns out it's the most cost efficient. It's crazy. Yeah. Sure, I could see that. Yeah, yeah I'm bringing wow. a bunch of tigers and. I thought you were like foreseeing some kind of uh, world disaster. You were like, the airplane days will be over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the skies will not be safe. <laughs> well, me and my cousins are going to, you know, we're going to make sure no one flies again for a while. What is? Who are your cousins? <laughs> we're doing 9-11 too. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Bigger, better. Yeah. This time it's personal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Uh, With Gerard Butler. <laughs>
No, the Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Mar- yeah, Mar- Mark Wahlberg and Tom Cruise. <laughs> they're joining this time. Mark Wahlberg can have his fantasy come true exactly. of being finally being able yeah. to stop it. Yeah. From but happening. Un- but that's the irony of the whole thing is when he gets on, he's going to realize he wants to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! They were right all along. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're the bad guys. <laughs> Fuck. Like I've been getting a lot of TikTok shit. Wait, with- can you do capitalism as a disease? Capitalism is a disease. <laughs> We're the problem. And the only way to solve it is to crash this jumbo jet into the Pentagon. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause, man. Do people tell you you look like a young Mark Wahlberg ever? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I could see that for you. Thank you. I, a I, compliment, right? I, a good yeah. guy. And I could see a similar career trajectory as you. <laughs> or as him. Okay. You know, because he's super successful. Yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah, he's already crossed his arc of beating up an Asian kid. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I didn't. When did you do that, Cody? I did not do that. No hate crime. <laughs> Was it Matt? Did you beat up Matt? I have beat up Matt. Yeah. yeah. So, yes. Yeah. Oh, so, he's yeah. done it twice now. He's got experience. <laughs> yeah, damn, dude. But you already wake up at like four in the morning and pray and, and do work pray. out. Speed yes. golf. Speed golf. Speed he golf. plays speed golf. He like he he's like I could do a round of eighteen in forty five minutes. That doesn't sound <laughs> fun. <laughs> also, but because speed golf is an actual sport. Have you seen it? No. Yeah, it's like dudes will bring like they have like a belt with club holders on them, and they'll bring like an iron and a putter and a driver, and they'll sprint. They'll hit it and then sprint to the ball, oh, and then hit it again and doing. sprint to the ball. No, it sounds like he's just like really efficient at playing golf. Maybe. I mean, it's just eighteen hole in ones. Like yeah. it's not. Yeah, I guess that's not really that big. Just, of yeah. Have you ever seen juggling? <laughs> no. Oh, it's the coolest like shit ever. Juggling and jogging? Juggling and like running. There's a guy who did like a sub five minute mile while juggling. <laughs> what? Dude. You've never seen Oh, you gotta pull it up. Bro, it's how are we out here? So fucking Bro, cool. the same bolt. Step it up, man. Seriously. It's it's come out of retirement. It, and he's Let's doing like five balls. It's like it's one of those things where you go, How is this not in the Olympics? Or like the that Asian one where they play volleyball with their feet. Yeah, or whatever. What's, oh, yeah. No, that's isn't that like a Spanish thing? I don't know, but they do it super well. I saw it like Viet- Vietnam or some shit. They My do. friend tried to break the world record for the fastest marathon while bouncing a basketball, while dribbling a basketball, and did he, he almost it? did it. Now he yeah. was like minutes away. Damn. Yeah. Don't give up. Look. Yeah, four hundred meters in fifty-five seconds. No this guy. way. Yeah. Look at this shit. Look at this dork. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> this fucking loser. Look how skinny he is. <laughs> I bet it's fucking this is amazing. Look at this fucking loser. <laughs> this is dork shit. <laughs> this is, this is so corny. Is... I bet his girlfriend yeah. hates him. Oh, he also he totally plays ultimate for his. Oh, baby. this is sick. That's actually this is really really imp- cool. It's really impressive. Yes, it is. Oh, well, at, yeah, there's a <laughs> juggling team. There's multiple jogglers. Wow. I weirdly think it would make running easier because sometimes the worst part about running is all you can think about is God, this fucking sucks. <laughs> 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 and now I'm like thinking about something else. Oh man, my brother's doing a running streak right now. I think he's at like two thousand days in a row. Damn! Wow. And he's so close to breaking his previous streak, which ended because he slid down a hill and broke his ankle, and he just like That's hurt hilarious. his foot again. Yeah, poor guy. Sam, how far does he run? He j- at least a mile every time, every day. But he's like a he was a cross country runner, and he can't do this shit, can you, Sam? Look at this nerd. Look at this, such a door. Can you juggle, I love Cody? It. So cool. Yeah, I can. A little bit. You like, sh- you got to start doing this. Yeah. Maybe this is the new thing. <laughs> oh, but so. After the Iron Man, I'll start joggling. That's a good idea. Why not? You're always looking for new skills, right? Always looking for new skills. You know what you should try is climbing. Yeah, I know. I. Yeah, I want to. That's what Ryan said. Yeah. You'd be a great climber. I would. I love it. I used to go in San Francisco. Uh, I would go to like a bouldering gym with my ex-girlfriend, and it was awesome. I loved it. It's super fun. Emil's super jacked on the wall. <laughs> you are, you are, dude. Yeah, you look fucking good up there, man. <laughs> I love seeing I love seeing you grip those holds. He's a little freak though. He doesn't wear <laughs> he, when when we go to the gym and he's in the like weight area. He takes off his shoes. No. Oh yeah, my guy. Yes, Air Five. That's me. But what? in the public gym? In the gym? Yeah. I'm, First, not, I'm not barefoot in that bitch. He does some. No. Wait, you get your grippers out in the gym? Barefoot's You're airing crazy. out your grippers. Barefoot's crazy. First off, 
it's a climbing gym. It's the most disgusting place in the world. They truly have communal nail clippers. So people are just like, I use those. <laughs> yeah, I use. <laughs> people are people are fully going up to the, <laughs> going up to the front desk. Like, um, do you have the toenail clippers? And they're like, oh, I, I think someone has them. And they're like, okay, I'll wait. And then someone just comes and drops them off, and they just fucking pick them up, and are like. Bleep. I feel I've been on antibiotics now for five months to get rid of my fungus. I feel like that's the only thing that could bring it back. I've done that. <laughs> using, you've used those? You sick. I've used the communal clippers. Everyone on my fingers. The, everyone on my shut fingers. the fuck for up. For what? Right now. Why Every, are you going there? To, because for the wall? no, because sometimes you have to because like you'll feel your your climbing shoes will pinch your toes together and you'll be like, my toenails that you would never notice are digging into your other toes. Yeah. Or your fingernails Everyone need to be Everyone shut the trimmed. fuck up right now. Ryan, you are not escaping the casualness, the, the elation on your face when you went, I've used those before. <laughs> it's a normal thing in a climbing gym. Yeah. Okay. Do you For, like- no, let's start here. You guys are not normal. Okay. <laughs> rock, rock climbers are not normal. So you can't tell me something like, well, it's just normal in a climbing gym. You guys are already weird. And I respect it. You know, personally, I'd love to get into climbing. But there's no way you can sit here and tell me that that's okay. It, you, I hear you. <laughs> it's a little Does your gross. wife know this? Like, does she know this? Like, before uh, she said I do, did you disclose? No. By probably. the way, I've used the community nail clippers. No, Wash I just your say I'll be right after. back. Yeah, but whatever's on those is gonna get under your nail bed. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't use them on my feet. That's gross. <laughs> I use. I just use them on my fingies. I just use them on my tongue. All I'm, right. I've used them on my toes. <laughs> That's for them, and I lick them. Yeah. I did see. I did see a Thank really the gross toenail clippers. Thank you. <laughs> But I don't think I've done it mm. since mm. my friend suck, it, suck on it. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, here we go. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, sorry, my sorry. my friend had a uh, he he had a toe fungus thing, and when he told me about it, he was like, "I probably got it at the gym." Hold up, hold up. Were you pointing at my feet? No, no, no Cody. Okay, right, right. <laughs> and hey, it's gone. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So but, he had a toe fungus thing. But I was like, okay, I'm not gonna use, and I try not to shower at the gym anymore because I'm like, I don't want to get weird yeah. stuff on my feet. Yeah. Yeah, every time I'm in the sauna at the gym, there will be guys in there barefoot. And I, I ask, I go, hey, man, you're not afraid to get anything? No. And they just, like, <laughs> walk out into the wet-ass floor and go into the shower. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these I guys. used to do that. Really? Yes. Why? And then ever since I started caring about my feet, like, yeah. I got sandals and I like our shower shoes or whatever. I use those now. Do you wash your legs in the shower? No. I never do. Nobody does. I yeah. do. I think that's, that's I soap weird. my that's... I soap my whole body. Damn. Yeah. Do you soap, you bend down, and you soap your do you not, shins. Do you not soap your feet? <laughs> this is Cody's fraternity showing right here. <laughs> <laughs> do you not, yeah. you don't soap your feet? No, not soap my feet. I That's do. insane. I do you're, my feet. You're, yeah, you got to soap your feet, son. Don't look at me like that, dude. You use the communal nail clippers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan, you can't judge him. No, you got to. You, no, the soap falls on your feet. It goes down. <laughs> no, you got to like. That's how water and gravity works. You got to like put your fingers through your toes with soap on them. No, I don't see. Th- this is like I had some roommates when I first moved in. Rippers. We had one. <laughs> no, dude, you just sit down and you just fucking. Oh, oh. It does feel good. I I do a moan like that sometimes. Uh, no, when I had my uh, anal fissure and I would stick the. Um, uh, just get, just let me finish. It's so what? nice doing this with them because like I'm alone when we what? do this yeah. together, <laughs> yeah. and I'm just like. What the? <laughs> that okay. sen- what a sentence. I moan sometimes when I do that. It feels well, good. Anyway, when I had my anal fissure. Yeah. When I had my anal fissure, which, do you know what an anal fissure is? I don't know, like a hemorrhoid? It is. It comes, well, so I had a hemorrhoid. There was this like two-week span where I was just eating like garbage, and it was making me have to dookie multiple times a day, <laughs> and I wasn't fully evacuating to use the proper vernacular. And so I'd have to wipe multiple times. And the wiping <laughs> just kept irritating my poor little butthole. And on top of that, I got a hemorrhoid. Okay. So I went to the, the mm, what are they called? The ass Proctolog- doctor? Proctologist. Stuck <laughs> a finger ass, in there. The ass doctor is the. <laughs> is the ass the doctor, yeah. <laughs> He's, he, I didn't tell you guys this. No. no. He had me lay on my side and he put his finger in my butt. You got hard as he, nails. No, but it, it definitely does. There's an old John Mulaney bit. He talks about getting <laughs> yeah. his prostate checked. Oh. Yeah, so I'm sorry. It feels like you're shitting when yeah. he pulls his finger out. Yeah. And I was prepared for that, so I'm like, oh, that's a foreign sensation. <laughs> and he said, okay, well, you've got a hemorrhoid, and there's also some tightness in there. And me being well, a let me fucking- Let that up for you. Yeah. Well, no, I said- That's I, so crazy to just be like- 
Yeah, you're pretty tight. Well, so I told him <laughs> I was <laughs> you're just standing there with this fucking doctor finger in your ass. It you're, was way quicker than that. You're, you're tight. You're yeah. tight, buddy. <laughs> but <laughs> but I wanted to. <laughs> Holy shit! Looking at you, creaming all over it. Bro. <laughs> He said, uh, or I, I, I tried to like make the situation a little less uncomfortable for myself. So I said, Doc, are you saying that I got a tight ass? And he said, I didn't say that, but yes, you've got, you're a little tense. And I was like, okay. And he gave me this cream and the cream didn't work. But anyway, the anal fissure is like irritation from, it's like chapped lips of the ass. Mm. Yeah. And what felt so good was taking the shower head off and just blasting it. <laughs> Okay, I did, was not expecting that reaction, but I'm in the shower and I legitimately I'm standing there just kind of going, "Oh man," because <laughs> it felt so good. Imagine having like a five year itch that you finally scratched for the first time. It feels so good. But I did. I even texted a. I, did I text a gay? I might have texted a gay friend or someone else who said, "Damn, I finally I get it," because it felt so good. And now I'm fine because I got a bidet. Your gay friend is just at work minding his own business and just text a text from Ben. Dude, holy, I get it. I get it now. I get it now. Then he sends him a picture. I just blasted. <laughs> dude, I just blasted my asshole in the shower. And let me tell you, I understand. <laughs> That's what I'm looking most uh, for. I'm, what, what are we doing in Japan? In, well, <laughs> my little brother has never experienced a bidet before. And we're so. going to fuck him. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put our fingers in his tight ass. We're going to fuck your little brother. Yeah, and let him know he's got a tight ass and then blast his butthole with water. <laughs> well, so anyway, that's that. <laughs> you ever been to Thailand? Or no. like Southeast Asia? I've been that's to Japan. How they, that's, that's how you wipe is the, like water guns. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. not a bidet. Oh. It's a gun that you like take attached out? to the wall that you just take out and... Okay, how do you do the European ones where it's a separate toilet entirely and it's just a little faucet? Do you sit over it and splash? No. Yeah, yeah. I had one of those. Um, I wanted to give it a whirl in Italy. And then I I noticed that it was the one that points down and I was like, Weird, right? I'm not going to just reach back there. and Yeah. <laughs> and there's no seat either. Yeah. So you're just like sitting. It was like bend forward. It's a, it's a toilet shaped sink, basically. <clears throat> yeah. I don't get it. Hmm. It's super weird. I was like, "Do you? You're not supposed to get on it front ways." Oh, yeah. oh, god! Like, oh, you know what? Like this. Yeah. Maybe you, maybe you, uh, yeah, that Stop. little thing. Look yeah. at that shit. What do you do? Maybe it's a sick yeah, you, bath where you fill it up and then dip your butt in it. That's like what soup. I thought it was. It's not. It's not that. How do you do it? I have no idea, like but poop we soup? had poop them soup. all at the at Noel's wedding. Like all of our hotel rooms had them, and we looked up a video on like how to use it, and it was like a normal bidet, but I Weird. still doesn't make sense. Well, but that yeah. thing can like you can move it, I guess. Oh, uh, like you can, can adjust can the little up. head, <clears throat> point it up at it's your still uh, weird. At your little butthole there. Yeah, I wasn't about to like get on there and do like the airplane crash, like position and just shove my butthole under it. But What's the airplane crash position? Like, <laughs> <laughs> right, just grab the backs of my knees and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hope my plane doesn't crash. <clears throat> yeah, I mean that would suck. <laughs> Well, I think we all hope that it would be brutal because me, <clears throat> Phil, and your brother are traveling on the same flight. Oh yeah, we would just have just have like the saddest Japan trip. Because then you'd just be grieving in Japan. I'd want you to. Have we a good we time. would carry on. We would be like he would want us to enjoy this. Yeah, or that's Smoke what cigarettes. that's what me and Phil would tell Nate. Yeah, look, we, he would want us to enjoy yeah. this. Stop crying, dude. <laughs> Stop crying, Nate. Yeah. Oh man, this is what Ben would want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ben, your ten gotta wash our ass. Wish was for us to fuck you on the trip. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, SeatGeek. Summer concerts are here, and that means you can get $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code TMG. By the way, you know what I got? Bruce Springsteen tickets for MSG. What? Yeah, dude. I'm stoked. Sorry. Damn. Wow. Thanks to SeatGeek. Hey, if you didn't know already, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. I've got the app on my phone, and it's by far and away the best way to buy tickets. I got it right here. Seat Geek, baby. Uh, let's see what's going on these days around these parts in, uh, in space. We got Harry Styles. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Billie Eilish is playing. Ooh. Ooh. At the Forum. Ooh. Ooh. That'll be a good show. Ooh. Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. Okay. Damn, that's at December 7th. Yeah. 
I want to go see that. With so many amazing concerts and festivals happening right now, you're not going to want to miss out. I'm talking The Weeknd and Doja Cat, Justin Bieber, Olivia Rodrigo, Shawn Mendes, and so much more. These are all people Emil definitely knows. I like all those artists and am constantly blasting them. You know I'm trying to take everybody to the Olivia Rodrigo concert. Yeah. And there's only one way to do it because those things sell out so fast, and that's with SeatGeek, baby. SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal, so when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good deal. Green. Red means bad. And if you were worried for some reason, you don't have to because we've got a hookup for you. Use the code TMG for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with the promo code TMG. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Man, we totally, there was, I was going to say the Mark Wahlberg thing. <clears throat> I've been getting these weird TikTok things in my algorithm. Uh, a lot of like Ted Kaczynski love. Oh, Unabomber love. Yeah, and it's that it just off the off the back of like Mark Wahlberg is realizing that we're the bad guys. It's kind of like so many people are realize not realizing, but yeah, no, nah, go ahead, say it. Like, this is good. This is good stuff right here. Realizing that Ted Kaczynski had was a point. right the whole time. <laughs> he had a point. What was his point? His point was that technology is bad. Oh, okay. bad for society. Right, Mark Wahlberg right. said, "If I was running the post office during that time, <laughs> I would have. Yeah, I would have dismantled the bomb as yeah. it was exploding. I wouldn't have been dumb enough to open that mail. How dumb do you have to be to open a package that you're not expecting during the Unabomber time? I think that was a more genuine time. Yeah, true. It's kind of like the way boomers are just sort of like." Well, just go knock on the door and ask for a job. Like, yeah. I think they just opened all their packages. Also, have That's you ever true. gotten a package you weren't expecting? It rocks. You're like, it's sick. What yeah, is it? Like, I don't uh, care if it's, it's a bomb. Clearly a gift from someone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> That's just male <laughs> ego. <laughs> <laughs> clearly. Or like a sponsor sending you some shit. Yeah, that's what they thought. Yeah, the yeah. U.S. government was like, "Ooh, it must be another sponsor." <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh, know, PR package. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> I did one of those ketamine things. The ke <laughs> ketamine assisted. <laughs> ketamine assisted suicide. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, I I kept Mind Bloom is yeah. what it's called. Mm. Have yeah. you gotten those ads before? Mm. Yeah. It's like all of a sudden I was getting them, and I did it. I ordered it. You it got ketamine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And whatever ended up because you texted me on like a Saturday night. You were like, I just took a bunch of ketamine and then I never heard from you. Oh, yeah. He K-holed. He found God <laughs> and then he came back. Yeah. yeah. He was trying to text you. He couldn't, <laughs> he couldn't reach well, his phone. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It was I had it in my in my underwear drawer for like a year because it says to keep it in darkness. And um, <laughs> wait, so you did this a year ago? Or? No, no. I Yeah, I did it a year ago and it came. But I got turned off because it's like. Well, you'll get the other treatments after you do the first one and then talk to a doctor. And I'm like, I don't want to talk to some dork. I just want to do the drugs, man. Yeah, he's probably a drugs. joggler does ultimate frisbee. <laughs> um, but so they did send the first dose and I finally did it. And it's a weird thing. There's these big like horse pills you put under your tongue. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And then you wait for it to dissolve and it says, do not swallow for seven minutes. So you're just sitting there <laughs> making this ketamine saliva soup in your mouth. <clears throat> yeah, look at those things. And then you uh, spit it out, and it was it was the half life on them must be really really short. Wait, did you get high? Yeah, but for like forty minutes tops. But but I did. There's a ketamine like IV therapy place in Silver Lake, and I emailed them. LA and is just. Yeah. I'm gonna make an appointment. I'm gonna I'm gonna get blasted. Yeah, I'm gonna be in there. I'm gonna just. You're going to be your asshole, and that place is going to be your shower head. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, dude. I can't wait. Uh, I'm it's scared of ben, needles, so. Just, oh. <laughs> wait, but, but this, is, this is for, like, depression. This is yeah. for, like, treating serious anxiety and stuff. Yeah, and lately I think it's social media induced, but I just feel like I've got a short fuse and, like, um, I don't know, a short fuse in the sense that it, it I'll just be, like, Dread, it, just full of dread, and like. Uh, oh, so you're actually like trying to treat yourself. You're not just. I'm just to get curious. High. Okay. Yeah, but I also am like, damn, this will be fun. Yeah. But I, I'm curious if it'll kind of get rid of some existential dread hmm. about just the future and. We're gonna die. Well, yeah, I'm cool with that. Oh, okay. But what I'm not cool with <clears throat> is just the constant. It just feels like everything is happening all the time. Oh yeah. Now, 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 and I know that part of it is my own. You know, you got to be. Better at self-regulating. Yeah. And I definitely don't do that. I mean, it's fine, dude. The stock market is going to completely collapse. That's Everything fine. we know as society it. is going to fall apart. Eventually. Like in the next two weeks. You that takes solace in the fact that we are on the verge of World War Three. Yeah. And, 
and AI is literally about to take over. Yeah, you can in let, a year. It's moving well, way too could, fast. Nobody can contain it. We could all just dedicate our time to uh, souping famous works of art. Oh, uh, throwing the soup. Yeah, yeah. Change the world. Oh yeah. yeah, I saw something about that. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the, I saw a clip. I think Putin, it was a pretty visceral clip. Putin. <laughs> Putin saw one of those and he was like, "I should stop." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It worked. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Do you think Putin wakes up every day just going, "Fuck, what am I doing?" Probably, but so do I. I can't stop now. <laughs> It would make me look weak. Oh, yeah, and then they glued their, their hands to the Just wall. Just the clip of her, of the soup hitting the painting. I was like, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, got, it's, it's, it's behind, covered in it's glass. Yeah. glass. Yeah. Oh, okay, still, I don't know. There was one dude who hit an Aston Martin dealership. and With, with soup? soup? Yeah. No way. Yeah, and like a why, dude. He was like, it, he was hitting it. Like, it was coming out of a sprayer. <laughs> he had a soup sprayer? Yeah, I don't know how. Soup? It was orange like that. Oh, damn. <laughs> and <laughs> every can run in front of it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would be an effective oh, way to deliver soup. soup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're just soup. ten frat dudes. That's what a soup. Yo, this dude's giving out free soup. <laughs> <laughs> That's what soup kitchens are yeah. these days. Yeah, it's just yeah. Come and get it. Yeah, yeah. Nah, all the comments were like, "Dude, why didn't you draw a dick?" <laughs> like he just went in a straight line. He had so oh, much ammo. Yeah. Idiot. Yeah. Damn. Oh, what an idiot. Is that him with yeah. the red pants or whatever that is? Yep. Skirt? Well, hey, the drip is separate from the activism. Like, the drip is crazy. He didn't even get any of the cars. He just got the facade of the building. Yeah. Damn. Is that but paint? It's not paint? It's soup? My, maybe. I just assumed it was soup. <laughs> it looks like it's probably paint, but I, I prefer thinking it's soup. That's what I... Yeah. yeah. Like, who... I want to live in a world where that's soup. Yeah. Who wants this to be paint, actually? <laughs> Maybe it's smarter to do soup. Oh, oh spray paint. Loser. Oh, Should have uh-huh. did soup. No, cut that. We didn't see it. It's soup. It's definitely <laughs> soup. <laughs> that's tomato bisque. <laughs> would, you, would you ever buy an Aston Martin? Uh, I feel like they're dog shit cars along with Maseratis. I would love to ride around in an Aston Martin. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Me too. Aston, if you're watching... Send me a PR package. Aston, if you're watching, we would love a PR package that contains your one-of-one Vulcan. Send me a package in the mail. Anything. I'll just, I love to open it. (laughs) I'll open that shit. (laughs) Noel, I love that you are, uh, you play with your It's just a, it's just a, yeah. Oh, damn, you're a marriage guy. Full-on married guy. Yeah. Oh, what kind of ring do you have? Let's see it. It's gold. I like that. I like that it's not one of those, like, uh. A lot of guys have those like ceramic ones or something. Mm-hmm. Ceramic? Yeah, I feel like those would break. Does somebody here have a ceramic one? Okay. <laughs> what do you mean ceramic? Like they're I black don't like the, or I don't something. Like the rubber ones. Yeah. Rubber. Those I are like the like... climbing thing. I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like guys that do that. Got to remember your stuff. wife on the wall, I guess. You, yeah. Always it's, faithful. It's the, <laughs> it's the thing you got to look at as you're falling away from the like, rock. Oh, oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I also think it's a safety thing because regular rings can get and you'll get degloved. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Just take off like, the fucking ring. Don't that's kind of metal. <laughs> yeah, I to guess. deglove your um, thing, yeah, your yeah. finger. That's love, baby. Man, degloving. Wait, I, can I what? Take it back to drugs for a second. Sure. One of my friends works in like the legal drug industry, and he goes to these parties with people that work in the industry, and the stories that he tells me about, like how far ahead they are. You can vape anything now so people bring dmt vapes and molly vapes to these parties and just wow. will vape molly the whole night whoa that's not that fucking crazy s- that uh, how much is in a single hit like i guess it gets you high i mean it's like a semi microdose, but if you do it enough then you'll like get a full dose right or whatever but people will just like microdose the whole night wow that's Man, pretty wild so cool when that's in gas stations Oh yeah, yeah, I know. And teenagers kids are or... buying like banana flavored Molly vapes yeah. and just zapping their brains. Wait, have you done it? No, I've never done it. I want to fucking vape Molly. I would definitely it. try it. Wait, someone's someone's yeah. thing is still there we on go. static. There we go. There we go. Wow. Uh, what you was guys thing? had sex recently, or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. We were just thinking well, the three of us talking pre-show. Wouldn't it be crazy if we talked about intercourse? Yeah. I did um, once try a gas station pill. Oh yeah, I think I've told that story before, right? I mean, I was uh, it the one where you went into your car to blast. (laughs) (laughs) No, that was gas, my friend. Yeah. No, I that's blasting. Wait, what's blasting? (laughs) Like jerk farting. Yeah. Oh, what do you think blasting is? Uh, Farting. (laughs) 
Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. No, but you it's corrected. You gas. said that was gas, my oh, friend. Oh, well, yeah. I, I thought you I blasted gas, but I thought you meant oh, sorry. I thought you Whoops. huffed gas and no, then went no, in your no, car no, and no. jerked off. <laughs> <laughs> that's what went through my head. No, no, no. I did one time. I just thought about Ben being in a garage like doing like the suicide maneuver but he's just beating off oh. and his roommate's coming like what are you doing he's like i i thought it just gets you i thought it like gets you going he's like open the garage dude. you're gonna die so that's what tastes so sweet <laughs> uh no one time uh i would i when i was in my first relationship uh i would buy condoms at the condom store mm. and the condom store look, it was called condom revolution and they only sold condoms? Only sold, well, and uh, accessories. Oh, okay. Condom it's accessories? Yeah, yeah, it's a sex shop. Like little oh. hats? Like a little, yeah, a little hat hats. for your penis? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Have you ever seen that yeah, artist? Yeah, necklaces. Yeah, yeah, some Prince Alberts. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, and then uh, I'm at the register, and I see these uh, pills, and it's just the worst graphic design, and it just says, Stiff Nights. And I just jokingly said... Who who fucking takes these? And the girl goes, actually, a lot of people do. They're pretty, you know, good or something. And I said, really? And she goes, here, try one. And I tried one. And In the was, store? No, oh. I waited. <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, don't do that like you wouldn't try it in the store. <laughs> <laughs> right there? No, you gotta do it. To, but it worked, and I had a stiff night, baby. And like then, stiff joints? No, like <laughs> penis. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you're just like, oh, my fucking back hurts. <laughs> One, this shit sucks. Why do people do this? I don't have arthritis right now. Ow. Ow. My hands hurt so bad. Do you want to fuck? I can't. I'm too sore. <laughs> yeah. Well, so it just made me get like, uh, the next day I had the worst sinus headache. Just really wait, wait, bad. but it gave you a boner. Oh, yeah. Big time. Okay. Like big the, time. Like to the point where afterward it wasn't really going down and I had to pee with it kind of still. Yeah, it's like a weird, it's no longer, your, it's just like this appendage that doesn't belong to you anymore. Yeah, it's and wild. Like, this fucking. Oh, you know from experience. I've heard stories, I think. Yeah. <laughs> You've but never... yeah, it's just like a, it's almost not that, I mean, it's cool because you're like, damn, look at this fucking thing. Yeah, and then yeah. you're like, it doesn't really feel like mine anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wild. You're like, did I put a strap on on? Young, young, young men out there, you don't need to be fucking around with pills. Just uh, no. wait, enjoy like, yourself naturally. Aren't these like the ones that you buy at the sex shop? Nowadays, you can get like blue chew and shit like that. Mm -hmm. but yeah, back easily. in the day, it was like horny toad pills and stuff, yeah. wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, well, it was like a weird horny like Agra and Cialis. Yeah, I'm on. You could. A buddy of Those... mine does blue chew, and he's like, he's always now, but it's it. because the I thought it was like once the patent ran out yes. and it became like a generic but like yeah. back in the day you couldn't do that no you'd have to go see a doctor now so what were you buying at a, a sex store it's some I don't even know like some weird like it probably had ashwagandha and yeah. Yeah. some other vitamin B12 and like a, a ton of it or whatever the hell it does I'm just laughing because one of the dudes has been opening for me on the road oh there's Tyler Walsh former rodeo clown this dude oh, wow. grew up in like rural Iowa and just spent his like hangout is the gas station because where he grew up, there's like, there's fuck all else. And so he just kind of carried that habit through life. <laughs> I took him to San Jose. This was the first time he saw the ocean. And he was like, the whole time we we're there, he's like, you think there's a gas station nearby? <laughs> and we're like, Tyler, that's not like really a thing. And he's like, yeah, I'm kind of noticing that. <laughs> He's a big fucker too. He's like six seven. Wow. Uh, like two eighty. Jeez. If he wants to be, yeah, he's huge. That's a big boy. And dude, he's not even the biggest in his family. Like, man, this guy is a gem. He's so sweet. But anyway, he would uh, he he'll tell me stories about like some of the drugs he's done because he's such a big fucker. He'll always through his whole life and never doing drugs or whatever. He's like. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd just take a handful and see what happens. <laughs> like, just, like, talking about whatever. When it came to, like, gas station pills, he was like, oh, yeah, I'd pop them all the time. Like, Jesus. He was just, you know, it's it, so I bring that up because it's funny because we look at those pills like, ugh. And to him, he's like, fuck it. Yeah. Let's go. Didn't Lamar Odom have, like, a heart attack from taking one of those pills? I think he took that pill and, like, 300 other pills. Uh, I think he was on a lot of shit when that happened. Yeah. That was my man. That's my recollection. I don't want to misrepresent. No, though. he was doing coke too, wasn't he? Probably. <laughs> Wait, what? Probably. I remember. Yeah, that. he probably was. 
You love cocaine, don't you? <laughs> Have you heard about this uh, this movie? It's um, I think it's it's yeah, based, actually weirdly it's, relevant. Well, no, because I think <laughs> That's it's Cody's called, nickname, Cocaine Bear. Well, no, I was gonna say it's about uh, 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 it's my life growing up in Canada. <laughs> yeah. No, ah, oh, shit. I was gonna make some kind of joke about it's like your gay alter ego. <laughs> That's what they call Cody in a gay nightclub. Yes, yes. yes thank you. There you go. Cocaine yeah, yeah. Bear. Has anyone yeah. seen Cocaine Bear? <laughs> 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 yeah wow based on this, the true story this is a real movie yeah about a real story and what's the story again a guy crashes his cessna i think he's like a drug runner he's got it's got, got ray liotta in it yeah damn his last movie he's got what mm-hmm. actually yeah. damn yeah. definitely gonna go peep yeah drug sorry. runner who crashed no he his plane. Uh, apparently he he, he has tons of coke on the plane and then they find uh they also find a dead bear nearby and i guess he's like ingested tons of cocaine yeah, I don't know exactly what the movie's going to be about. Maybe Ray yeah, Liotta no kidding. voices the bear. No, he's flying the plane. The The synopsis is so funny. It tells the story of a drug runner whose plane crashes with a load of cocaine that's found by a black bear who eats it. It's read, it, it like, reads like one of those TikTok things. It tells the story of a <laughs> drug runner whose plane crashes with a load of cocaine that's found by a black bear who eats it. But that's the story. Like, that's... <laughs> What happens? Yeah, that's it. it, it you say he dies? <laughs> the bear dies. Wait, for some reason I thought Ray Liotta was voicing the bear. I don't think it's an animated movie. <laughs> no, but it could have been one of those like Lion King live action. Yeah. This is what they do now. They take stuff from the internet and they're like, people like this tweet. Let's make it a movie. Yeah. That's it. Because, it, yeah, I remember the tweet about this thing. And now they're making it a fucking... Did you hear about the wrestlers who fought off the bear? Grizzly bear? Oh, dude, oh yeah, like high school that. kids. I yeah, yeah. picture the rest dude, of they, they interviewed them. They all look them. so fucked up. They're all like black and blue arms yeah. and slings, the stitched ones, up. <laughs> yeah, stitched up. Crazy, cool guys. They look grizzly. Yeah. They look like. Chuck. Is there an interview? Yeah, there is that we can a, watch. Can we watch that video yeah. interview? It's with fucking these guys. wild. They look because like I think Chucky. I think the bear attacked the one and he broke his arm or something like that, and the other one fought the bear off. Yeah, yeah jumped on him and pulled his ear. He said the one guy gets tackled. And then the other guy jumps. That's a friend, man. These guys are cool, dude. From Utah. Oh, it's those Mor- they put it's those Mormons, man. It's cuz they don't drink soda. Yeah. <laughs> they got that special underwear. And they only have anal. <laughs> I, I covered my head and curled up in a ball and if it wanted to kill me, it could have killed me. Oh. There's someone looking out for both me and Kendall. Yeah, it was a God. college student from Utah. Thanks to be alive. Told you my boy looked like Chucky. <laughs> After he and his friends are <laughs> attacked by a grizzly bear big ups to these boys man seriously how fucking <laughs> bears yeah. are on, bears are on the attack you see the you see the other guy the climbing yep, guy the climber who punched the, that oh, fucker yeah. <laughs> the black bear just fucking dive bombs that Dude, rock look up khabib wrestling bear no yeah as a kid well there's a lot of bear stuff going on that video was funny because it like all the tweets were like he fought off a bear and he just kind of screamed at it yeah, but I I guess he that's punched. What, this is what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I know you're supposed oh. to like be loud. Oh no, there's one where he he's like a kid. It's like yeah, it's like K- Khabib dude. kid. Uh, maybe it's that third one. Yeah, it's that one. It's that first one. It's that first one. <clears throat> I might have been baited here, but I'm pretty sure this is him as a kid. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Dagestani's man. Is this what they do there? Wow. For the audio listener, he's wrestling a bear. It's yeah. a child wrestling a child bear. Like, he's who's, like, how is this? You what? think it's like his parents filming this as like yeah, a oh, fun his, his family dad, video? His dad coached him. His dad Where do they like get a, a bear? I mean, Dagestan? They're probably just around. Yeah. Wait, is Dagestan a place? Is yeah. that a real country? Mm-hmm. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Can we cut that? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> no, that's. <laughs> Whatever. No, I knew that. Dagestan? Where is it? Well, so. Are it's, you lying? No, dude. <laughs> Okay. It's right next to Turkestan. I actually think it may be close. <laughs> it sounds like it is. I believe it I may be close, yeah. Was it part of the Russian bloc, the former Soviet Union? I would assume so yeah, because, yeah. Uh, yeah, Khabib, like, um, people speculate that his career is kind of supported by Russian oligarch, whatever. Oh, I know that. I was thinking D-A-G-I Stan, and I was like, what is that? I've seen that country written before. Yeah. Republic of Dagestan. Yeah, Turkmenistan. You don't think about Turkmenistan often, do you? No. 
They're just, they're just. You're uh, not thinking about it? No, never. I feel like daily. I'm you think up, about I'm Turkmenistan? Running. You don't know what's going on there? No. I'm just oh, kind man. of hoping everything's Looks good in Turkmenistan. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! This is the clearest video I've seen of it. Yeah. Holy shit! The the climber. And Dude, attack. his hands must. So he's like fucking screaming and yelling at it, and you could. See, he's like hitting the rock. Yeah, he punches the rock, and dude. he probably doesn't feel it at Ooh, the time. Yeah. Oh, he ow, broke his hand. Ow, yeah. Sure. But after he's <gasps> cooled off and there's no more adrenaline, I'm sure his hands are so fucked. Yeah. This is mm. one of those videos where it probably felt really cool <laughs> you know and then after the fact he's like holy fuck i have the most legendary clip sitting on my gopro right now of me fighting off a bear yep. yeah and then you play it on your computer and it's you just going <laughs> <laughs> and you're like oh man i can't post this i sound like a Idiot. bitch right now i sound like a bitch i sound so corny <laughs> you know who handled it perfectly was that guy with the mountain lion coming out. Oh him? yeah, and he's just slowly back. Yeah, up going yeah, that, fuck, dude. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, and he shot at it, right? No, he no, didn't no, have any. That, that was one. a recent one. Yeah, no. that guy just full on said fuck it. This is shoot. not helping with uh, the stereotype or the image we have now of like per, like consuming a lot of animal I, I animal murder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see that crab I put on Twitter? <laughs> Which, yo, oh, I, up. I did. He was like on a, like it lit on fire. <laughs> Just play that. What? Wait, I've seen the crab go to, get go to, sucked to, into the pipe. Go to Noel's Twitter. I, yeah. I've seen the dancing crabs, the very real. Oh yeah, crab. the very real dancing crab. Also, Maybe. I finally got hip to that clip of that fucking crawfish, like th those clips of crawfish walking themselves into boiling oil. Is <laughs> there so what? much? <laughs> we'll do it. After. Oh, this is. Oh no, but listen man, to the audio. The audio is just way better. <laughs> Oh, Can you turn it down a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's, I don't like that. Yeah, what? That is dark. What is Dracarys? Dracarys. It's Dracarys. from Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah. It's like okay. make fire or something. Yeah. Man, poor crabs. The spiders of the ocean. Ugh, fuck them. Fuck them. Crab? I want to eat them. But. Apparently, isn't there a thing when you drop the like when you drop the lobster into the boiling water? It we can't hear it, but if no, you could, screams. They yeah, scream. you can hear the scream yeah. from like miles away. Yeah, I thought that it was air escaping their little shells or something. I Probably. hope it is. Mm. It's a horrifying. <laughs> Damn, thing. we should reconsider a lot of things that. That's we why. Do. That's why Cody just rips them in half before he cooks <laughs> oh, them. God. I did. Did I ever tell you that? No. Wait, what? My friend. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Pull up the ago. crawfish um, crawling into the boiling water. Yeah, it's steam escaping through a fissure in the shell. I, oh. I know something, the thing or two about fissures. fissures there it is. You. Look, for the record, anyone that wants to, you know, peg me. What? As huh? a guy that <laughs> enjoys uh, Very good. Um, the murder of, like, sea animals, mm -hmm. I, I just, I can't. I struggle to have empathy for crustaceans. I don't know Wait, why. Wait, didn't it all start, this whole bit started from when I ripped the lobster in half? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My friend. Like a live lobster? Yeah, like my friend goes. <laughs> what? He goes like uh, spearfishing <laughs> and he dives for lobsters every, whatever the season is. I think it's now in California. <laughs> and he finds these lobsters. You can't buy them because anyone who harvests these things sends them off to like Japan and stuff like that. Okay. So if you are like a diver that does it personally and you collect them for yourself, they're super rare. And so he was like, do you want a couple? I was like, yeah, for sure. And he dropped a bucket off of my <laughs> house with like three live gigantic California lobsters wow. just like writhing around this bucket. And I was like, dude, what am I supposed to do with this? Like I was texting him. I'm like, cause he was like, I left it by your door. And so I opened the door and there's like three lobsters like, <laughs> in the bucket. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? And he was like, well, you got to like kill them and then cook them. And I was like, I, how am I supposed to kill what am I going to do? How do I kill it? And he's like, just rip it in half. <laughs> take the head and take the body and hold it. You got to be careful because it's going to like try and snip you. And then you just tear the head off the body. And I was like, and that's not like inhumane. Like they're not going to feel that. He's like, I don't know, dude. I don't think they feel it. And I was like, <laughs> dude. Okay. There's no way you don't feel your body getting ripped apart. <laughs> and I'm like stressing and, you know, I'm like expressing this to Kelsey. I'm like, I really am dreading this. I don't want to like, it just sound. I was first of all scared that this thing's gonna like pinch me. Yeah. And then second of all, I didn't want to like feel this animal's like life leave its body. Yeah. But I did it. <laughs> and, but and then did you? And do I I put a towel. I grabbed like a towel. I held the body with one hand. I grabbed the head and 
Oh, and it like. Oh my god. And I felt so bad. But then I cooked it and ate it. But then did you do it two more times? No, I didn't do it. I left the others. <laughs> this is probably even worse. This is so good. This is my favorite. Part. I couldn't. I couldn't kill another one with my bare hands. It just. I could not do it. So I just like left them. Oh, left them in the bucket outside. I put them in the trash bin. Oh. oh. No. Cody, what would you have done? The ocean. Yeah. Why not right put there? them in the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> the ocean. <laughs> Or call your friend and say, hey, take him back. <laughs> yeah. I didn't you, think of the you ocean. You live so close to the ocean. <laughs> I didn't think of the ocean thing. Oh, my God. What would you have done? <laughs> oh, man. I that... can't blame you. I can't blame you. <laughs> I get it. You were, you, you know, what? you were experiencing trauma. It's so fucking L.A. to just have two animals in a bucket. And you're like. Too far. <laughs> and you just throw <laughs> in the it's trash. Trash. It's also fun. I have such a hard time throwing food away that I'll just be like, I'll just fucking eat it. And it's like, oh man, it was certainly bad. I just have a stomach ache. <laughs> just trying to throw away two live animals. <laughs> God, I should have tossed them back in the water. Yeah, dude. Damn. Yeah, well. I Can't they live forever too or something? They they, they mate for ends, life huh? too, so hopefully they were at least partners and they died together. <laughs> yeah, I would hope. I feel bad. <laughs> and so he just texted me again, like recently. He was like, "Hey man, it's the season again. Do you want more lobsters?" I was like, "No." <laughs> I was like, Damn. "No, dude." Was it good when you cooked it? It wasn't even that. I mean, it was. I I, I don't know how to cook lobster. I like mm. I just boiled it and it was a little bit. You know, I ate it with butter and stuff. It was a little bit flavorless. But it was my first time ever cooking lobster, so it was not gonna turn out that great. But these things are meaty. Mm. Like yeah. they got a ton of meat on them. If everyone, if anyone ever offers you some, you should definitely take it because they're delicious. If I think, done right, I think. I think I ordered the lobster on my flight. Oh, nice! The, my Singapore Airlines flight, just real fast. They have so many food options. Dude, I'm overwhelmed. Wait, so you're flying business? So is that like first. the first, first class? Was that like your own class. cabin and shit like that? It's there's no door. Ugh, I know, but it's got a giant seat. It's it's. Yeah. You should put in the comment section for dietary restrictions. Make sure the lobster was ripped apart. Yeah. <laughs> ripped <laughs> or no, half live. Ethically? No, no, yeah. Present it to you live. Oh, so, you can, so yeah. I can rip it apart? Yeah. Ooh, Bring me yeah. a towel, mm. and uh, and that's it. And let me rip that sucker. Yeah. 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 I want to make sure it's it's fresh food. Isn't seafood on a plane kind of a gamble? Not in this, not in this kind of instance, man. It's fresh. They make that shit. It's excellent. Like, Have you ever been to Singapore? Yes, but you got to. No, yeah. I want to go. I want to go. One day. D okay, my layovers for like eighteen hours in Singapore. Yeah, I was basically me too, yeah. and I had a horrible fever. Whoa, it sucked. And we went to KFC. <laughs> KFC is really good in Asia. Oh, dude, it's, it's insane in Asia. So good, really. KFC yeah. fucking rules in Asia. They do fr they do fried chicken better than here. Yes. We should go to, to. I wonder if they have it in Tokyo. Definitely. Yeah, do they that. do. Okay, we got to go to Tokyo McDonald's and Seven <clears throat> Eleven. Tokyo McDonald's and Seven Eleven. Yeah, we're no. going to Tokyo. Yeah, you, you got that right. You got that right. You got that right. <laughs> KFC. Yeah. KFC. Uh, I'm gonna land and I'm gonna. We need two more now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah we got to go to Seven Eleven McDonald's and KFC. Seven Eleven McDonald's, McDonald's and KFC. KFC. Did you go to Domino's in Italy? I just did to, not. Just to do it? No. They're, they're not even there anymore, That feels like right? such a waste, though. Yeah, like, that's true. No, you're... let me be American for a second. The way they make pizza there is not how we like it. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get pissed middle. over here. Yeah. yeah. Soupy? It's Dude. a soup pizza? It's like runny a yeah. little bit. Yeah, mm. it's, it's a little bit doughy. Wet. It's wet. Oh, it's yeah, good, I kind of like man. that. I like that soggy dough in the middle. Mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some so uh, anchovies? Did you get anchovies in your nah, shit? Nah, nah. Oh, man, you're fucking up. Allergic to fish, bro. Oh, no. man, what a way to live life. Yeah, sorry. You, so you've had sushi never? No. Not a single time? Nope. You've never even tried it? Damn. No. How do you know you're still allergic? Don't sometimes, you know, it runs a cold. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't know how it works. Yeah, I can just like... You can tell. I'll, I'll eat Thai food, and I can tell when it's been like cross-contaminated. Oh, yeah. My throat will just start to close a little bit, and I'll be like... <clears throat> Yeah, they cooking on the same grill. Well, Noel, you good? <laughs> I'm on, I'm fine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the food is a little. You go Jordan Peterson yeah. on him. Yep. <laughs> what rules? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a place for men. <laughs> Wait, should we watch that? What is this Jordan Peterson clip? It's just it's been going around Twitter. It's so funny. I didn't watch oh, it. Oh, is it is it uh oh fuck. I wanted Never to mind. save it's it. It's probably not this one, but I saw like a startup y joke one. Have you it's seen just that a one? Very quick 
clip of I mean we can play it. It's like literally forty seconds. What of, rules? I, I just feel bad for his like his brain is just how yeah. Ready is. Yeah, this is the same clip. No, no, the no. joke was different that I saw. Oh. Thought... Jordan Peterson derails every question into utter nonsense because he has nothing <clears throat> of substance to say. So, we'll and this is to that. this is uh, the joke that I saw was when an ex Google employee joins a startup. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like they don't do anything right, at right, Google right. anymore; they just like debate things. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. Well, the question "Did that happen?" <laughs> begs the question: What do you mean by "happen"? Because when you are dealing with fundamental realities and yes. you pose a question, yes. you have to understand that mm -hmm. the reality of the concepts of your question, when you're mm -hmm. digging that deep, are just as questionable about as what you're questioning. You know, uh, so uh. people say to me... <sighs> See, <laughs> when people like this do this shit, I lose attention with what they're saying and I just cannot... <laughs> I like, I see like a dude outside of 7-Eleven right now. Oh, oh, dude, yeah. it's talking. Wait till you see what he's about to say. Oh, he, it's like, go. it's just, it's like childish. Okay. What do you, do you believe in God? <laughs> and I think, okay, there's a couple of mysteries in that question. What do you mean do? <laughs> what do you mean you? What do you mean believe? And what do you mean God? And you say as the questioner, well, we already know what all those things mean, yep. except belief in God. And I think, no, if we're going to get down to the fundamental brass tacks, we don't really know what any of those things mean. Well, it's just like, is yes, we do. We like... know what fucking do means. It's it's insane. Between truth I'm gonna go pee real. and there he goes. parlor, uh -huh. pee-pee guy, and, oh, pee -pee uh, guy. X, the internet of everything, Yeah, free speech is back, baby. Elon Musk's thing. Oh, wait, he's actually buying Twitter now, isn't it? Yeah. 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 He said on there, on uh, Tesla, <coughs> Tesla reported earnings... Uh, the other day, and he said on the conference Were call, they "Down, sorry, yes, continue." They, I don't remember the specifics. I think they lowered their forecast for the next quarter or something. But he said on the conference call that he believes that one day uh, it'll be worth more than Apple and Saudi Aramco combined. Okay, dude. the two biggest companies in the world. Elon, what a fleecer! Just he can just say that, and you what know. a fleecer! But then he said, uh, the only other thing of substance is he said that they might do a stock buyback of like five to ten billion dollars in the next year. But yeah, he's got to now unload however much Tesla stock to fund the Twitter thing. That's another guy who you got to wake up every day and you're just <clears> going, "What the fuck am I doing?" I don't think he thinks that. Probably not. He probably just thinks he's virtuous and right in everything that he does. Yeah, right? hundred yeah. percent. He wakes up on his friend's couch again. Oh, right, because he sold all of his homes? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Does, does anyone believe in that? No way. No. He's oh, like, he, he sleeps at the factory mostly, and then he just like kind of crashes. Nobody has to hold him to account for anything. <laughs> He's been saying that there's going to be full self-driving next year. For 10 years. For 10 years, mm -hmm. yeah. So at this point, whatever. Yeah, sure, it's fine. Yeah. I just, yeah. <laughs> I wish we could talk about when you met him, right? Yeah, we, we can talk. I mean, we we talked. Oh, about you met him? Yeah. yeah. Where? Super brief. We <clears throat> it was the first time we hung out with Post. Who's Post? Mullum. Oh God, dude, come cut on, that. Grandpa. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Not getting cut. <laughs> no, we should leave that. <laughs> no, that's definitely getting left. <laughs> yeah, that was that's great. getting left. Okay, in. first off, I didn't know you were on a first name basis with Post Malone. Well, no, I mean, I don't call him Austin all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. This is what this happened when Colin and Samir were on too. They were <clears throat> we were like, Oh yeah, and like Mr. Beast and they were like, Well, Jimmy and we were like, Fuck, we got big timed. We're actually no. on a first name basis with yeah, Jimmy as well. Good, good. good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys call him, call him I was gonna say I call him Jimbo. Yeah. Or Jim I call him Jim Aruski. I call Jim, him Mr. He likes that. You call him Mr. No, you don't. You're lying. That's his father's name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so call him Jim Jimmers. So go on. Yeah, no, we, so... Um, the first time you were with Post? Yeah, you know, he hit, a, he hit us up like a week awesome. prior. He was like, let's hang. He's like, I'm back from tour tonight. Uh, we, we're like, okay, dope. We go meet up with him at the bar. We're hanging out at the bar for Is a little bit. Is this you two? Yeah. Okay. And then he goes, uh, he just looks up from his phone and he, he smiles and he goes, you guys want to go to Elon's house? And this was right at a time where I had been running this bit <laughs> on like Snapchat and Twitter of like 
I just bought my Tesla, like, Elon, I can't wait for you to fuck my wife. Like, you're so cool. Like, <laughs> like just, like, parodying whatever. And so we took it to the extreme, and, like, we did a song called Elon Fuck My Wife. And uh, we had, like, made it pretty recently. Can we, we, can we play it? I don't ever want to hear that No, shit. I want to hear it. Come on. Yeah, we want to hear it. Ah, People want to hear it. Can we do it in the bonus, please? Yeah, 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 we can do it in three minutes in the, okay. extended, <laughs> in the extended version, which you can find on TMGstudios.tv. It's so, uh, dude, the song is so rough. It's hilarious. It's pretty Especially rough. Especially now looking back on it. Oh, it's pretty rough. No, it's funny, but it's, it's pretty rough. intense. Yeah, so pretty whatever. Pretty fucking intense. Um, <laughs> Did you guys not release it? No, it's on oh, SoundCloud. Oh, okay. It's, it's okay. definitely yeah. there. So whatever. I'm like, And we had put this out like a couple weeks prior to this. Yeah, and I'm cringing now thinking, God, dude. Now we're about to go to this guy's house, you know? And so we- If he heard it. I, he would never have heard it, but like it was just- Oh, you went to Elon's house? Yes. Dude. Holy okay, shit. So, we hung out with him. Yeah, so 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 Austin goes, you, you want to go to his place? We're like, yeah, sure. So they call up some Ubers. We hop in. Uh, <laughs> we go up this long driveway, and uh, he's waiting on the driveway with Grimes and a couple of her friends. Um, they were all holding lanterns. And like they had all the lights off, but they had like lit candles and shit. We didn't. What well, we did? Bodies, bodies, bodies. Yeah. <laughs> what we didn't realize, dude, was one of the people with them was Blood Pop. Yeah. But it, I know who that is. <laughs> so whatever. Uh, I I didn't realize that till much later. So yeah, we we hop out the car. He's there. We don't really directly speak to him. He's really only keen to speak to Austin. And we're just kind of standing there, looking around, um, and then. Austin's security brought a bunch of beers because Austin just preferred Bud. And I think he's got a brand deal with them or whatever. So we're, we kind of just awkwardly grabbed some cases and we're like, oh, where should we put these? And we go, like, go put them down in the kitchen. Um, his garage was really empty. Um, it was like really like kind of minimalist. He made like a weird joke because he had this old Jaguar. <laughs> and uh, he... He like points at the cigarette holder and he was like, now you notice the cigarette holder, it's, it's cigars because in that time, cig cigarettes were considered uh, to be only for girls. We're like, oh, so where the fuck <laughs> we put the beers, dude? <laughs> so we go inside and we put the beers down. Oh, you remember like we, everyone else went inside and then we were just left with the cases. Oh yes, that's right. We didn't know what door it was. Yeah. Everyone went in inside and like we heard a door close and we turn around and we have we're carrying all these cases and we're like I don't know what door it was. Yeah. And 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 mind you there were two garages that were open that they like people were kind of milling between like so we were just kind of staring like what the fuck and then one of the doors happened to open. Oh, and this was the best part. <laughs> I'm not going to like name drop, but uh, someone in Austin's crew uh <laughs> hates dogs. And Elon had these two weird ass dogs. One of them was big as fuck with like a ton of energy. And then the other one was small and it had like a bowl cut. And <laughs> the way a little mop, like. dude, the way it was moving in the dark, it looked like its feet didn't move. Like it looked like it was just on wheels. Like it, it just, and it's bangs just kind of bouncing. Yeah. Like it just seemed to, yeah. Like it was just like, mm, yeah, mm, mm, like a, like a Roomba. Yeah. So I just remember looking at the dog feeling like this, this, of course, this is his dog, this robot, robot ass dog. But then the other big dog was just booking it up and down the driveway, just. <laughs> <laughs> and the dude in Austin's crew was like, "I fucking hate dogs. Get me out of here, bro." <laughs> so whatever, we're standing with the beer cases, and uh, and you can hear the rest of the story in the <laughs> extended version. Thank you so much oh! for this. What well, you're gonna hear it? Yeah, you're <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh, no. But I also got to piss, but I'll wait. Thanks for listening. You can listen to the rest of the episode on TMGstudios.tv. And, uh, yeah, thank you for listening to this episode of 8-Ball. This week on the extended cut. I didn't fuck it. There's no hole. Okay. I just jerked up in the toilet. You're a bad little shitter, aren't you? <laughs> no, I didn't. I don't know if I was imagining them as boobs or an ass, but I don't care. It feels good. And I reached around and took care of business with the other. Watch the rest by signing up at TMGstudios.tv.